Hello, Pisces. I was about to do a reading for someone else, and I've got this incredible, just like feeling like I needed to do a Pisces reading. So you're about to see what happens from that. Hold on a second while I straighten this up. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. So we have number 15, leadership. Number 7, help and healing. Number 33, illusion. And number 4, revolution. There's something that you really stepped up and took control of to try to help your emotional health, possibly. Um, you may have even tried to help another person. I feel like it's like hard work, like you really, really tried to help someone, but I also feel like you're trying to heal yourself. This person may be pretending as if everything is okay, but they are not okay. Um, they are hoping and praying and wishing things would change or get better. Um, this also could be your energy, but... The last card is revolution there. I feel like things are about to drastically change. And for some of you, it's going to explode. We have the King of Swords reversed. We have the Eight of Cups reversed. We have Death reversed. We have the Six of Swords reversed. Everything's coming through reverse. Somebody is really, I'm just telling you, I'm telling you what I feel Somebody is really hurt. Somebody is. And it could be both. But somebody's hurting. Especially if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or a Scorpio. Um, somebody is not wanting to end a situation. Somebody is not wanting to walk away. I mean, really not wanting to walk away. They don't want to end this situation at all and I mean it's just it's over and over again telling me that I don't want this to be over I don't want this to be over I don't want this to be over I'm sure some people are going to laugh about this because maybe you've maybe you don't feel this way and you think well it could be the other person but the other person is being a jerk well whatever's going on somebody you or the other person this is happening Somebody is really obsessing about the fact that they do not want this to be over. Yeah. We have got the Seven of Pentacles, Temperance, the Four of Cups, and the Hanged Man. And as you can see, all but Temperance are in reverse here. Somebody doesn't want to wait anymore. Somebody's tired of waiting. Somebody's trying to balance out their emotions. Trying to stabilize themselves. Feeling very guarded, very upset. For some, even tearful. There's anger also, but it's more sadness than it is anger. And then we have the Hanged Man here. This is Pisces card. Um, I think Temperance is Aquarius. Anyway, um, somebody here is feeling stuck, but at the same time they're seeing things from a different perspective. I want to say that in the pre-shuffle, I saw the Hanged Man in the opposite. That's why I'm telling you it's both. They're feeling stuck, but they're also seeing something from a different perspective. And apparently this card is important in this particular reading for me to see it twice and in both directions. Okay. Somebody is not feeling satisfied right now. They are not. And they may be spying on you. Um, some of them are really upset because you're not talking to them. Um, they have taken, they've pretty much assumed the worst that everything it's over because somebody is defensive towards them. So they've really, it feels like they've lost, 
it's not like they they've lost hope in the fact that they don't feel as if they will be reciprocated if they were to come toward the other person. Again, this could be you or the other person feeling this way. But somebody's feeling really heavy, really, really heavy. Because I'm feeling it as I'm reading this. And I was actually in a really good mood. Um, yeah, I feel like it's this king of swords that's not wanting to walk away. That's Maybe they left you waiting or you left them waiting and they want that to end. For some, this person may have no choice but to wait, but they're not wanting to wait and they're not wanting to walk away. They're not satisfied with the way things are. They're trying to balance themselves out, but they feel like they just can't move on. They can't transform back into the really, you know, back into themselves, so to speak. They could be spying. Some of them could be um, lurking in the shadows, but only because they're trying to protect themselves here. And they're having a hard time not having any contact with you. And I feel like they are starting to learn, but they're stuck. Yeah, they're stuck. Stuck like Chuck, man. They feel like you ended it. They feel like that you decided that it's over. That you're defensive. They think that you want to start over with somebody else possibly. But they definitely see you as defensive. They may want to give you a new offer. Um, this even could be a money offer. But for most of you, it's just talking about a stable offer. But there's also passion involved. For others of you, this is a new beginning with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It could be for some of you that they know that you've started new with a fire sign. Maybe that's why they're so heavy. I don't know. But this is a very, like, I'm feeling this in my heart, like, big time. Yeah, for some of you, they really want to offer you emotion, some kind of apology, possibly. But they're afraid, like, they feel like the daggers are going to come at them if they try. Yeah, they're feeling like they can't, um, they can't heal these emotions. They, they, they feel like there's an imbalance. They want emotional fulfillment with you. They love you, but they feel like things are just not, what's the word? They're just not being healed. But they feel like they can't heal them because the daggers. I think some of them are having a hard time making a leap of faith, maybe from a earth sign, which would be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, because you see it's jumping away from. So I think that's what that's about. It could be that they're making a leap of faith with an earth sign also, but that's not the way that the cards are showing it. Yeah, they want to hold on to you and they want a commitment now which is you know again like I said that could be you or it could be the other person wow yeah they definitely want to give you time and consideration and they definitely want to take this to a higher level they've been really 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 thinking about you like really thinking about you They betrayed you or you betrayed them and they're kind of reflecting on that. So there's like a hidden knowledge of 
some deception that occurred that either you did or they did. And they want to manifest a new start. They do. Wow. Guys, I don't know what's going on with this. This is the reading that I have for you. I just wanted you to know that, you know, for whatever reason, this reading was supposed to come out because I was not planning on doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and I hope it resonates with you. I'll see you again soon. Bye.